is the road restrictions page that the data is found for the road restrictions and height restrictions around Brisbane. Um, basically what we're working with is the GeoJSON file. So there are a couple of ways you could do this. You could download the file from the internet. <clears throat> you could have that process run within Python or you could just download the file directly and then <clears throat> process it using Python um, separately. So in a standard web app you would either have this process run separately where it would do that, it would just download it directly from the website, it would then process it and then it would enter the details into the database. Okay, We're just going to do it where we download the file, we're going to drop it into the same folder as our Python script and this is kind of like our cleaning script. So it's going to clean the data um, and we can go from there. So first thing we need to do is just download the file. So I'm just going to click download and there we go, we've got it there. Um, but I need to put it into the correct folder. So for me, I'm using PyCharm EDU, um, which is good because it means I can put everything, keep everything together in the IDE. Um, so I'm just going to go here and I'm going to drop that file into the folder into there and it's going to make a fool of me, that's alright um, open in finder run, and I'm going to drop it in there Alright, so now that will be inside my PyCharm EDU folder. You can see it right there, road restrictions.geojson. That's downloaded directly from, from the website. So the next thing we need to do, just so that we can get a look at what's going on, we're going to use CyberChef. Um, there's heaps of these different JSON, um, sort of, it's called beautifying. So basically you're take, taking a JSON file which is just a mess of data um, and it just cleans it up, tidies it up so it looks good, so you can read it. <clears throat> so I'm going to drop it in to the input over here. Try again. Nope. Oh, try from here. There we go, that worked. And you can see that's the current output. But what we need to do is we need to create a recipe. Um, this is used for lots of different file types that you can clean up. So this one we're just going to create a recipe for JSON. JSON Beautify, drag it across, you see it's baking the input, and there we go, we've got a nice looking um, set of JSON data. Okay, it's exactly the same file, it's just presented in a nicer way. Alright, so what we can do is we can look at the features. <clears throat> the features are where all the information that we want is stored. We've got description, South East Arterial Road under Victoria Bridge. That is the description or the name of the height restriction. Um, so we need that one. Sign clearance min is going to be 4.4 for that instance. Um, so sign clearance min is the other one that's important, along with latitude and longitude. Okay, both of those are important as well so that we can identify where they live on the map. All right, so that's the important information from this JSON file that we need to be able to pull. So you'll see if I scroll down, that's one instance. Now we've got another instance here, which is the curbside lane under Bradfield Highway. And then it keeps going down the page. We've got lots of different entries. And these are just all the entries within the table. Okay, you can think of it like a table. All right, so the next thing we need to do is jump over to our IDE and we need to be able to code up our script that's gonna clean our data. So I'm gonna to go to one that I've named Retrieve and Process. Um, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, but we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is import JSON. So Python has its own JSON um, library that will clean up the data. So I'm going to go import JSON. I spell it correctly. All right. So that's going to import which is the JSON library so we can the data as a JSON file. All right, so the next step we need to do is we need to open that file as a JSON file. So with open 
road restrictions. Geo JSON as JSON file, JSON object equals JSON dot load JSON file and then JSON file dot close. So basically now what we have is we've got a variable that is a uh, that is a JSON object and it's called JSON object. Okay, so that's what the variable is. All right. So the next step we need to do is we need to do an iteration. So the iteration needs to work its way through that file and look at each one of those entries um, and sort of separate them out. So what we'll do is we will go. We'll do an iteration, which is a for loop. So for feature, and you remember that. Um, so feature is is our variable that we're creating um, in JSON object, and then we're referring to features, and that's all. Sorry, it needs to be double quotes. So we're referring to the features <coughs> in our JSON file there. Okay, so that's what we're referring to. So for every single one of these features, okay, type feature, type feature, um, it will cycle through and read each one of them. <coughs> All right. So the next thing we're going to do, just to see how it works, see if it is working, we're going to go print feature. Properties and we want to choose lat. Okay, and then we're going to copy that. We're going to change lat to long. And these are these variables here, lat, long, description. Then we've got sign clearance min. Okay, and basically what that should do is it should work its way through and it should print each one as we go. Good call. Oh, misspelt properties. There we go. And there you go. You can see we've pulled out the data and we've printed each one of these in that for loop. Okay, it's printed the latitude, it's printed the longitude, it's printed the description, and then it's printed the sign clearance min. If we were just displaying this here in the Python terminal, you might also want to go print, just so that it's a little bit neater, put a space between each one, that's fine, but we don't need to do that. Um, what we actually need to do so that we can start the next step, which is to take these each of these and place them into a database that you can then query and use, uh, we need these to actually be variables. So um, rather than doing this, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to comment that out by pressing Command Stroke. And what I want to do Actually, instead of loading these, uh, sorry, instead of printing these, I want to load them into variables. So I'm going to go lat equals uh, long equals name equals height equals. 
All right, so now we've got those, and just to confirm that they are working, we are going to print And confirm that that is functioning correctly. There we go. So we've got the same result, except that now we're actually just printing the variables. So the variables, um, what we need to do in here, and we'll do that soon, but not right now. Um, you'll be putting using a SQL a query to insert each of those into a line of the table within your database. Okay. And this will be a process that you'll run maybe once a week, once a month, I don't know, depending on how frequently that data is updated on the website. Um, you would just run this and it would um, automatically update the database with any new um, height clearances or delete any that are gone. Okay? All right.